Do you know what happens when a toilet explodes? To find out, Adam planned to build three open-style toilets and set up a full-scale sewage system. The first step was to determine whether a bomb's fuse would go out underwater, and the only way to know for sure was to test it. Turns out the fuse continues to burn even in water. That's because it's not just filled with gunpowder, it also contains oxidizers that fuel the burn. So no matter the environment, it burns happily, without needing any external oxygen source. Then it was time for the real tests. Test one, drop the explosive into the sewer pipe and see what happens. One. Oh! <laughs> Once it detonated, all three toilets were launched into the air. Apparently, the water pressure builds from the base of the toilet upward, and the high-speed movement of water is something the pipes just can't handle. For test two, Adam bolted the toilets down with heavy-duty fasteners, hoping they could hold under pressure. He then placed the bomb at the lowest point in the pipe system with the goal of blasting the entire water column upward like a fountain. <laughs> One, go! But the toilet still went flying. The shockwave was just too powerful to be contained by the narrow plumbing. Finally, they placed the explosive directly inside the toilet bowl. And as you'd expect, the toilet was completely obliterated. 